Hey Chance, I heard you're doing YouTube videos now and I was like, what? No way, f sake. Pick your battles collecting. No one's gonna watch that, bud. You have better luck getting laid in a convent, sake. What's going on, good people? It's been a while since I've posted a new video, and that's been because, well, life and work happened. But tonight I find myself all alone in the house. Wife is at work, kids are at the grandparents, and I have a little free time. So here I am. Uh, over the course of the last couple of weeks, I have been doing my usual amount of game, toy, and tech hunting to a minimal degree of success. But what I haven't got in terms of scores, I've gotten information scores. I've learned some things. For one, I learned that the Goodwill Outlet Center has way more cool vintage video game stuff than they let on. They don't put it for sale out on the floor. They hoard it for their online store, which, you know, I get. But still, I didn't think they had as much as they did on the premises. And I was able to, to get some behind-the-scenes footage on that that I'll, I'll show you here later on in the video. And two, I stopped into a GameStop not too long ago, uh, down the road from where I work. Saw that they're starting to stock Xbox 360, PS3, basically that whole 7th gen. They're starting to stock a selection, albeit a small one, again. And I definitely have my opinions on why that is, but I'll share those again later on in the video. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm holding this microphone when I have a perfectly good condenser mic behind me, it is because that when I finally decided I wanted to go ahead and start using this like a big boy, I realized I lost my damn condenser mic cable that connects it to the phantom power. So I've got another one on order for Amazon. I, I tore the house up looking for the one that I had. It's nowhere to be found. 10 to 1, as soon as I get that new one in, the old one, it'll, it'll just jump right out at me. But anyway, in the immortal words of one of my all-time favorite musicians, Ozzy Osbourne, let the madness begin. Well, guess who woke up at 5.30 this morning and drove a half hour to work only to find out that it fucking closes today. This dumbass. Make it even worse, yesterday, I got almost all the way out of town before something told me to check my schedule. Saw that I was off. I tried to go to work on my off day, and today I went in early, and I didn't have to. Could have slept in. Two days in a row could have slept in. Fuck! Okay, remember what I said at the front end of the video? This is a behind-the-scenes look at the Goodwill Outlet Center. Look in the back there. Stacks of Xbox 360s. And then there's like a Wii Fit set, a Super Nintendo. And there's no telling what sort of other stuff they have back there that just isn't readily visible. Man, I would just love to get back there and look around. All right, at the front end of this video, I told you I was going to offer my opinion about GameStop carrying 7th Gen games. And I had some footage from when I first discovered this, but somewhere along the way, I deleted it. So, I have to kind of fill in the gaps here before the video picks back up. Uh, what happened was I stopped at a GameStop that's local to me. I was looking at Xbox One games and noticed that at the very bottom there was a selection of about 10 or 11 Xbox 360 games. And I thought that was really strange and I actually found one that I wanted to buy. So I picked that up. And then I went over to the, the uh, PlayStation section and saw they had PS3 games. I'm like, huh. Well, anyway, I went to uh, the counter to make my purchase and I made the remark to the associate that it was the first time in years that I bought a 360 game at a GameStop. He said, yeah, we're, we're starting to carry a selection of those again. And I didn't ask for you know any in-depth explanation, but what I understand about GameStop, their business is hurting. Uh, not only is their business hurting, but they're hemorrhaging employees left and right. And I don't know if you watch uh, channels like Camelot 331. If you don't, I highly encourage it. The dude's very entertaining. Plus, he worked at that company for 10 years in, a, in an assortment of positions, mostly management. And by all accounts, GameStop's just a 
terrible, terrible place to work. And I guess that this is a little bit of an act of desperation for them. And, you know, I always wonder why it didn't occur to them sooner that, you know, a lot of the people that collect video games don't just stop with the last gen. You know, a lot of us collect from, you know, first gen on. And uh, seventh gen has really, really taken off. I don't know if you've seen the prices on a lot of Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 titles in particular lately, but there's been a noticeable bump in the value of a lot of those titles. Um, so I'm going to keep my eye out. I'm going to have to stop by GameStop more often. That makes me feel icky inside to say that, but occasionally you can get a good deal there, especially if you catch it when they're having you know some of those buy two, get one free sort of deals. But anyway, this video is going to pick up at the second GameStop, or I should say the first one that I went to with the express purpose of finding out if they had a selection of 7th Gen games. And with that, I now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Since I'm on my lunch break, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and slip by the McCain Mall location of GameStop. See if they also are carrying a selection of 7th Gen games. And uh, if so, what they are. And if so, if there's any I might want. Because I may just pick them up. So come with me on this journey through the mall of indescribable deadness. As I'm drawing close to the entrance of our local GameStop, I have to... I have to say, of all the GameStop stores there are that I have ever been in, this one has the most pitiful selection of games in general I've ever seen. Like, it's bad. You wouldn't know it's a game store. And as I said, the selection is absolutely pitiful. There's no 360 games here. Nor are there Wii or 3DS games here in the Nintendo aisle. And nor were there PS3 games in the PlayStation house, so I'm going to go on and get out of here. And part two of my lunchtime look at for the day is bringing me to Country Club Flea Market in Sherwood, Arkansas. Again, this place usually has a decent selection of games, some repros, and I can always at the very least get a piece of silver. And we're coming down the main drag here leading up to the games. Now, like any good southern flea market, they have a pretty good selection of NASCAR stuff. But honestly, I would rather wash my taint with a sandblaster than to watch cars turn left all day. And now we are coming up on the games. They're usually right here in the middle, just off to the left. Let's see, they basically have the same selection they had last time, which is a little disappointing. Man, I was really hoping I was going to come in here and find something. Nothing is catching my eye at the moment, though. Hmm. And they have the same selection of shitty third-party controllers. See, there's just no way that if I was going to buy a new PlayStation controller that I would go with third-party. I just absolutely would not, nor would I go for a knockoff Wave Bird. Well... You know, I thought I didn't find anything I wanted, but I think I'm going to go with this War Jets game. Looking at it, it honestly kind of, from the synopsis, sounds like it's twisted metal in the air. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I need to hear. I'm not a big PS2 collector, but if something's really unique and I'm into the premise could see myself playing it, I will go ahead and pick it up. All right, well, I enjoyed my trip in there. Didn't come out with much, but, you know, I did get that War Jets game, but I also picked up Snow Cross 2. You know, I don't think I've ever played a snowmobile game that I hated, so I don't imagine this will suck. They did have a really good selection of silver rounds in there. Man, geez louise, they were trying to sell for like 17 18 over spot price, and, you know, when I go into like a flea market or a pawn shop or something, they're selling silver, I understand they have to make their profit, so they're generally going to charge a premium a little bit over spot. But geez louise, $17, $18 over spot, can't do it. Just can't do it. I will just go on to AppMix if that's the case. All right, I am doing a little lunchtime looky-loo at the local Goodwill near my job. Let's see what the, man, they got a shit ton more DVDs in today. They didn't have that many last time. 
Not seeing any games though. I miss the day so much when you could walk into a Goodwill and it would just be games everywhere because retro collecting was not a thing. And you could get some truly great stuff on the cheap. I don't know about you, if you're anything like me, sometimes you go to a thrift shop and you find shit that there's like no way you'd ever buy it. You don't want it, don't need it. But you just love it anyway because it's just like a snapshot of the time. But here we have a copy kit that transfers your home movies and slides onto videotape. I mean, just like you can tell in that picture, like especially right there. This is like an early 80s sort of deal. It's, it's really neat that it's, you know, still in the box and everything. Let's turn this joker around. Yeah, I mean, look at that camera right there. I remember when I used to uh, go to Disney World as a kid and people would like have these big old shoulder mounted cameras like that. And I used to wonder how the hell are you enjoying your visit to Disney World lugging that sucker around? Oh, but wait. Hey. Xbox 360. Oh, about to drop this joker too. It's a little grunchy, but thumbsticks are a little worn. You know, seven bucks isn't bad, but if I didn't already have like a pile of them, I'd probably jump on it, but I do, so I'm not gonna. So I'll just put this back. Hopefully somebody that needs a functional 360 controller, and I'm assuming that that is functional, will uh, need it and uh, be able to make use of it. Today I decided to stop at Kapow Comics in Sherwood, Arkansas, which is hands down the best comic shop in the state. And uh, let's go in. They have a phenomenal selection of video games. I mean, just look at all these Sega Genesis games complete in the box. And, you know, you're definitely going to pay for them, but uh, you definitely get what you pay for. Uh, and, uh, yeah, box Super Nintendo games, old school Game Boys, Game Aces, PlayStation 2, OG Xbox, a little bit of 360. This place is so much more than a comic shop. I mean, whether you're into old peripherals or toys, action figures, ooh, that's old Coleco tabletop frogger. Man, I would love to have one of those. I do have the bag now. Now, I know they added these Toy Biz Marvel Legends figures here pretty recently. I used to collect these back in the day, and at the time they were seven or eight bucks a pop. Um, they are just so well made, designed, and articulated, and I was absolutely in love with them. I probably had the better part of 70 or 80 of them complete in box. Uh, eventually, I forget, I want to say that it's Hasbro that took over the line, and I never felt like it was the same after that in terms of quality. And look at this, they have this Sega Saturn collection that they're working on. And my daughter would go crazy over this, but they have a basket full of Beanie Babies for five bucks. My little girl is just absolutely Beanie Baby crazy. I've been wanting to bring her in here. I just got out of Kapow Comics and spent a little over 40 bucks there. Honestly, if I were a multimillionaire, I could probably about half buy that place out. They have so much stuff that I want. And, uh, the uh, man who owns that, Matt, Matt Dykes, he is like one of the best dudes ever. So if you ever happen to be in Sherwood, Arkansas, uh, come see Matt at Kapow. Uh, I've been going to this store ever since he first opened it, like freaking, I swear it's been like 20 years. And it was just a little bitty hole in the wall then, but he has grown it to be hands down the absolute best comic and collectible shop in the entire state of Arkansas. Probably in the entire region, honestly. But let me show you what I got from them. So I picked up a 360 game, Family Guy, Back to the Multiverse. Picked it up for $25 and it's complete. The disc is in immaculate shape. This honestly is, I think it's going to be this generation's uh, Futurama as far as collectability goes. I don't think a whole lot of these were printed. Uh, I don't think it necessarily got the best reviews, but it is a fun game by all accounts. I actually haven't played it. Uh, I owned a copy already, but I wanted to have another one on hand just for future trade value. And I also picked up a Starrier Waster. 
Now, these were a toy line and comic line back in the 80s that I think even a lot of 80s uh, kids like me don't remember, but I used to freaking love these. I had, uh, they had uh, all had a wind up feature. And, you know, this one is obviously uh, a, has a buzzsaw sort of deal. There were some with like drills and some with like chest firing guns and all that. But it was just a really fun, fun line. And I'm finally glad that, uh, or I'm glad that I finally have one of these to put on my 80s shelf. All right. If you have managed to make it all the way through this video, I just wanted to say thank Thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I hope that you will sincerely do me the honor of liking this video, subscribing, and maybe even hitting that bell notification icon if you feel so inclined. I really, truly do appreciate each and every one of you that have done so, so far, and I hope you all have a great rest of the week. Take it easy.